Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. Today we have something very important to discuss related to the iOS 10 jailbreak. First though, if you guys are interested in winning Apple's brand new AirPods, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Full instructions can be found in your cards. Also big thumbs up because we are going to be getting an iOS 10 public usable jailbreak shortly. All right, so let's get straight into this. Now, as I mentioned, there is an iOS 10 jailbreak, but there are three major caveats. The first of which is that it has limited support. So as of now, it only functions on the iPhone 7 on iOS 10.1.1 and the iPhone 6S and the iPad Pro on 10.1.1 and earlier. The next major caveat is that it will only ever function on iOS 10.1.1. Now, I did give you guys a warning a while back, a heads up telling you to downgrade from iOS 10.2 or 10.2.1 if you happen to update unfortunately the window to downgrade is now closed so if you missed it you're going to have to wait until the next jailbreak after this one unfortunately the reason that it will only ever function on 10.1.1 and nothing higher is because the vulnerabilities were closed inside of iOS 10.2 in fact the individual who disclosed them to Apple from Google's project zero Ian beer was the one who created the foundation for this jailbreak and Luca Tedesco has been finalizing things and kind of putting the finishing touch on a jailbreak, getting it ready to be usable by the public. So awesome props to Luca for that. Now the third caveat is probably the most important. This is incredibly unstable. I'm telling you guys right now, and I'm going to reiterate this throughout this video, this should not be used by you. Only developers intending to actually work on or develop things for the iOS 10 jailbreak. Now let's get into exactly why. So we're going to launch up Safari now and we're going to go over some direct quotes from Luca himself because all of this information I'm going to highlight is incredibly paramount. All right, so first up, as I mentioned in my video initially talking about what Luca released, Substrate does not work. And of course, Substrate is required to actually install most things from Cydia and get them functioning. Now, you might say there is a way to technically get Substrate to be usable right now on iOS 10.1.1. Now, Luca himself said on Twitter, quote, also do not use that Substrate thing. Seriously, give it some time. And specifically in reply to some individuals asking why they simply cannot use the Substrate fix, he said, quote, it doesn't mean it's safe to use, especially with such an unstable jailbreak. Now guys, Luca himself, the developer of this jailbreak, is calling it unstable. So has Sorik, the creator of Cydia. This is not ready to be used by the public. And in a continuation of this original quote, he said, and it is dot dot dot, harmful outside of technical things. It gives people a reason to run pre-release software. So he's calling this jailbreak a pre-release. Of course, it has been in beta stages and it's been receiving updates and moving along quickly. But he has said that from a stability standpoint, nothing will change in beta releases. It's still just going to be intended for developer use. It's pre-release and he's not a fan of the work that the individual did to actually get Substrate running. Luca himself disabled Substrate with the jailbreak simply because it promotes people to run things that they're not intended to run. Any developer obviously would be able to get Substrate functioning as the individual who released the patch demonstrated. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is to actually allow people to develop new tweaks and also things for the iOS 10 jailbreak, not for end users to be able to install it, even though of course they inevitably will, as this beta release has highlighted. So let's continue onward right here. This is the most important thing, and this is the reason why I'm creating this video. As I mentioned, things are moving very quickly. He said, quote, timing is sort of unfortunate due to Christmas and 33C3, I expect a gamma, parentheses, still not final, but stable enough, by or during 33C3. Now what that means is that he's going to release a more stable iteration of this jailbreak shortly, but not a public one just yet, essentially above the beta releases, hopefully more stable, again, he does say it stable enough, and hopefully with support for more devices. So at that point, I would feel more comfortable informing you guys that you can go ahead and jailbreak. Of course, we don't know the details just yet, so I can't say definitively that you should jailbreak at that point. I'll know when it happens though and make a decision and advise you guys which way to go, so be sure to click that subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. Now, as for the timing, I'm sure you guys are wondering what 33C3 is. 
and when it's actually going to take place. So let's go ahead and switch on over here. This is the main website for Chaos Computer Club. There's a group hosting the event that Luca is referring to and that he is undoubtedly going to attend. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. We're just going to tap on events up in the top left and they give a link to their blog for additional information on events. So tapping on that link reveals a schedule and this schedule states that things do kick off on the 27th of December, so just after Christmas, guys, and it should run until the 30th of December. You can see here, this is the schedule, and this is when things are going to kick off. Again, the 27th. So Luca did say that timing specifically trying to update this jailbreak that he's working on is hard because of both Christmas and 3.3c3, an event that he's going to attend, but that we should see the gamma release either by 3.3c3 or actually during it. And again, I did state that it runs through basically the end of December. So some really cool stuff here to look forward to guys, but I don't want you jailbreaking just yet. I'm not going to create a tutorial until I deem it stable enough. I don't want you guys going off and potentially risking your ability to jailbreak. Unless either myself, Luca, or Sork give you guys the go ahead, don't listen to anything you hear on the internet because right now it's not stable. I don't care what anyone else is saying. It's really as simple as that. I mean, I could so easily create a jailbreak tutorial right now, but I don't want you guys to potentially risk your ability to jailbreak iOS 10 in the future because we've waited so long. I mean, what's another week or two to wait for things to be fully stable? I mean, let me ask you guys this question. I know it's difficult to wait, but what would you rather do? Wait about two weeks and have a significantly more stable jailbreak and a better time and be able to actually maintain your jailbreak or would you rather have a jailbreak for about one to two weeks and eventually be forced into restoring because your device is too glitchy? And of course, because you restore, you will end up having to go to iOS 10.2 or higher at that point. And then of course, you will be locked out of this jailbreak and you won't be able to jailbreak iOS 10.1.1 using what Luke is working on. So guys, that's really everything I wanted to talk about in today's video. Just some intense warnings. I'm not going to show you guys how to jailbreak until a full public usable utility is released. Keep that in mind. Stay away from anything else. Follow the official sources. Of course, like I said, subscribe to me. I'm going to keep you updated absolutely every step of the way. You can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ACU signing out.